Aquarius, come on in and put your feet up, make yourself at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. So I've been meditating on it and what kind of kept coming up was, let's talk about your ex. All right. You want to talk about your ex? You know what I think. If you are a regular viewer to my channel, you will know that I think the past needs to stay where the past is back there but let's talk about your ex it's what source wants source wants source gets bear in mind my loves these are general readings so it's not going to resonate with all of you but if it does take a look in the description box below there's a link to my patreon if you want to watch extended videos there's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading if you would like to book a private reading, then you have to come to my website. That is the only legitimate way of getting a reading with me. If I'm up in your DMs or I'm down there in the comments below saying, hey, call this number. It's not me. That's somebody scamming you. Okay. So let's talk about your ex then. Aquarius, let's talk about your ex. What's up? Ooh. Something didn't feel quite right as I put the cards down. Sorry guys, I put it down, it felt right, and then it was like, nope, it's not, there you go. Let's talk about your ex. I don't know. This sort of seems like at a, at a glance. That this is someone who made promises that I think that they completely meant to keep these promises and they they, they couldn't really stick to it. This is sort of what it looks at at a glance, but let's let's go a little bit deeper in. It kind of feels like a relationship where I kind of feel like you were together for a really long time, considerably longer than most people that you know. You guys took it out. Does it sort of feel like you're walking on eggshells around this person? No, I still get that, that they made promises that maybe they intended to, to keep them at the time, but they, they I don't feel like they're a bad sort, but then I'm picking up things like you're walking on eggshells around them. Maybe they're not always bad, but something triggers them off. Like they're not a great person uh, when they've had a drink or something. You know what I mean? Something, something like uh, an outside, an external source <laughs> sort of takes away the good person that they are and, and, and makes them kind of a bad person. And um, it's like they almost, this is part of the promises. It's like they almost don't learn from it. So they keep making these promises like, yes, I totally mean this promise that I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop drinking or smoking, whatever, or, or uh, whatever it is that's, it's like an outside influence that, and they keep making this promise and then they don't keep the promise. And then you end up having to walk on eggshells around them because they're not a particularly nice person when, this happens. Does that kind of make sense? I think without this outside influence, they're great. Why is the High Priestess here for what you need to know right now? More is about to be revealed, is it? You're about to, uh, you're 
well, I guess embark on a journey. Maybe not a physical one, but uh, it's a life journey for sure. I kind of getting the feeling that um, this this relationship has kind of already run its course. Um, it doesn't look like a tidy ending. It looks like this this relationship is ending. It's in, it's in the process of ending. But uh, new things look like they're coming your way. It's a new part of your life, a new journey. I don't know about this. It sort of feels like that's where that ends. You know? This is, they are your ex. This is why it ended. It, it, no longer part of your life in that sense. I sort of feel like something new is, is happening and you're talking, there's a lot of communication. You've got eight ones, we've got ace of swords. There's a lot of communication here and it's like a new part of your journey. Not seeing your ex in this part at the moment. This is somebody else. This is somebody kind of interesting and, and uh, I would say quite a healed person. They've they've uh, they've done some of the healing they needed to do, and and they're I don't know wise. They've gained a bit of wisdom. It looks like at the moment you're. This is this is good for now. This is like a nice communication. You're on the next part of your journey, so it's like these are two separate things. X. Tell me more about what's coming up in the near future. Why is the Empress in reverse here? The Emperor. Something about this past relationship is stopping the the current relationship it's actually really nice and special it's it's sort of stopping in its tracks it's it's putting obstacles in the way oh your name is doing a reading i am sorry hmm it sort of feels like there's this decision that you have to make about something are you gonna let this keep getting to you. I, I sort of feel like something's coming up. In, in the near future. I kind of want to say that this person from the past wants to keep ruining things from your... from your now. And this is when this external thing comes into their life. As they are, they're quite happy for you to move on in your life. But this external thing that was why you left in the first place kind of makes them a horrible person. And, and uh, it's almost like they kind of come in and try and ruin everything for you. Say you get a new partner and they'll they'll send them an email when they're drunk or whatever or on drugs or whatever the hell this is. Saying what a horrible rotter you are, which isn't true. Just to try and ruin it for you. And then they regret it and they feel bad about it. It's not fair that you're happy though. You're moving on. I'm still here. Poor me. Can't meet anyone. I can't be happy. It's not fair that you're happy. Unless I'm happy too and I'm in a relationship. Then then I guess suppose I won't care if you're happy or not. I'll be far too busy being happy. 
but if I'm not happy, you have no right to be happy. That's kind of their current mindset. It's none of their damn business, baby. If this person's coming back into your life in any way, I still love you. I still want you. I'm sorry about what happened and it's tempting. I'd, I'd say no. I don't think that's what it is, but I just don't want you to get drawn in. I don't think you will. I, I, I just feel like, just in case, I might want to mention it. But I, I actually don't really think they are either. I think that they just, maybe, you know, something gets posted up on Instagram or something and, and they're like, oh, they're happy. I can't see them be happy. It's pushing me. I must destroy their happiness. They'll get theirs, don't worry. I sort of kind of feel like whatever's going on with you right now, it looks like a very interesting, nice uh, connection. You're on the next part of your journey, but there may be a spanner in the works, also known as your ex. Causing rumours. Rumours that get to the ears of this person. You could say, you know, it's just a rumour. If you want to believe it, it's on you. It's not true. You know, it's my ex trying to ruin my life, seeing that I'm happy and, and they are lashing out because of that. Um, it's up to you if you want to believe it. I respect that. Just so you know that it's not true. Um, you're going to let people make up their own minds. I sort of feel like this person's stable enough to make their own mind up. It's probably about time you stopped dealing with your ex though. I'm going to take a look in the extended how your ex feels about you. What do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you? Some guidance from the universe. I'm not going to look at this other person. They, it seems like they are in your life now, but from what I can see, it is what it is. And it's going to go in the direction that it goes in and there's no you know, that's kind of, I kind of want to say that's on you. Let go of the past and move forwards or not. Believe in the impossible? Of course. Anything can happen. Not that one, sorry. And your love look for the day is. I know you have issues with trust, believe in me, I know you must. I want you to turn that around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough. That's a song by me called Good Enough. If you look at my playlist, there's one called My Music, and it's a song called Good Enough. Uh, I'm going to take this into Extended. If you uh, want to watch that, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Bye!